Hello lovelies! So today is day two of my Halloween special videos. Um, so today I'm going to tell you a story of the haunted house that I lived in a while back. So if you remember the video where I talked about that we found a stray dog, a stray dog just like wandered up to our door and we like took care of her and I like cried over the whole thing. This is, this is actually the same house that we lived in then, just to give you an idea. So I was living at that house with my ex-fiance, one of his friends, uh, his ex-girlfriend, and then one of the ex-girlfriend's friends. A lot of people I know. So anyway, we were all living at that house together and... I think it got brought up at one point that somebody had heard weird sound or something like that, but I'd never heard or seen anything in the house, so I didn't think it was a big deal. And Brendan had actually told me that he had heard stuff in the house too, but again, I didn't hear or see anything, so I didn't think it was a big deal. There was one day, I think I got home from school, and Brandon was at work, and the only other person in the house was the ex-girlfriend's friend, and his room was like right across the hallway from ours, and so... I had gotten home from school and was like hanging out, doing homework, whatever, and I was like, I need some food. So I went out into the kitchen and while I was in there like making my food or whatever, I heard this really loud like bang sound. Like coming from the middle of the kitchen it sounded like. It was really weird. It's not like I made the sound and it's not like something else in the kitchen made the sound. It really sounded like somebody had actually hit something metal and it was just that kind of bang and it was really weird. So, I kind of hovered in the kitchen for a minute and waited to see if um, the other guy would like come out of his room for a second. And finally he did, and I was like, were you like making any noise in your room? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, that's really weird. So I explained to him what happened. He was like, oh, that's really weird. So, we were kind of trying to think through it for a second and couldn't come up with any ideas of what it could be. So, kind of just left it alone. So then, like a couple weeks later, it was Christmas Eve. And I had to get up like super, super early to work my job. And so I got up and I went to my job and I worked there for several hours. I think I got up at like 5 a.m. and then, you know, worked several hours and then went to my aunt and uncle's house for like a family get together Christmas Eve party thing. And then after that, I went to my parents' house. I was hanging out with my parents and my family. Um, for a long time. Didn't leave there until close to midnight, if not after midnight. And then we went to um, Brandon's friend's house and hung out there for maybe like an hour or whatever. And so by this point, I am extremely, extremely tired because I've been awake for so long and I've been just go, go, go the whole day. So I told Brandon I was not going to be able to drive home. So he drove us home. And when we got there, I kind of like stuffed a sandwich into my face really quickly and like passed out. So I'm asleep in the bed and then all of a sudden I hear like this sound, like these banging noises. So I sit up and I look out the bedroom door, which is open and it shouldn't be open because Brandon and I should be in the room and we should be going to bed. But no, it was open and somebody was out in the house. So I was really confused. So I'm looking and Brandon is walking around the house with a kitchen knife. He's walking around the house with a kitchen knife and examining everything. And I'm like, what is going on? So I grabbed Lulu really quickly and like pulled her up to my chest. And I like quietly yell at him like, what are you doing? And he looks at me and he goes, I thought somebody was breaking in. I heard a knocking. And I was like, what do you mean you heard knocking? And he said, I heard knocking on our door and I thought somebody was breaking into the house. So mind you, we are the only two people in this house at this point. Because everybody else is spending time with their family and, you know, doing other things. So it's just us two in the house. So he finally clears the whole house and he comes back into the room, puts the knife away, and then comes back into the room. And I'm like, what are you, what, what is wrong with you? And he's like, I thought somebody was breaking in. I don't know what you expect me to do. And I was like, okay. So he's like, I didn't see anybody, so I guess we're good. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I went back to sleep. I think it was the next day. We're like chilling in the room. And the door is closed, and um, I think the his friend was home. So he was, like, hanging in his room, and we were hanging in our room. And I'm sitting there, and I heard, like, I don't have anything wood. I heard a knocking sound, just, like, three. Like, one, two, three knocks on the door. And I was like, okay. So I stood up, and I thought it was the friend knocking on our door. So I opened the door, and nobody's there. And I was like... 
this is weird. So I lean my head out and look into the living room and nobody's in the living room. And I look, you know, across the hall and nobody's anywhere to be found. And I was like, okay, that's cool. So close the door and I sit back down and I'm like, I think, I think there's actually a ghost in the house. And so I grabbed, I told Brandon, I was like, I am going to get my recorder, my audio recorder, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to ask it questions and see if it'll respond to me. So I sat down with my little recorder and I was like really awkward about it, but I did it anyway. And so I hit record and I'm actually going to include the audio from that recording here. Are there any spirits here that would like to communicate with me? If so, can you tell me your name? Do you live here? Uh, will be another question. We heard you knocking on our door, if that was you. You. And was it you that was clapping in the kitchen that I heard? Kitchen that I heard. I would really like to hear from you. It's spiking a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this now, so if there's anything that you'd like to tell me, go ahead and say it. Thank you for talking to me. So as you can hear, I don't know if you could really hear it, but I'm going to kind of explain what happened. So the important pieces are I, uh, when I asked the question, I heard, or when I said, I heard you knocking, you can actually, if you listen really closely, hear a knocking sound in the background. Also, when I said, I think it was if, if you have anything else that you want to say, I'm going to stop the recording now, or say it now, something like that. So... Um, if you listen really closely, it actually goes into like static noises while I'm quiet and then I'm like, okay, thank you, goodbye, and stop the recording. And I'll include those pieces with like enhanced audio so you can hear it, but spooky, spooky scary, and I love it. I love spooky scaries. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big like. If you um, have any suggestions for future videos, any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. Um, if you want to see more stuff by me, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading videos every Monday and Wednesday. And as always, stay magical, my friends.